Hi Capricorn, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your month ahead reading December. I've been doing a lot of the weekly readings, which I really, really enjoy doing. Just doing them sort of the element readings. But, um, you know, some people moan about that. Like, oh, I don't understand why we have to get them clustered together. And it's simply a timing thing for me. I had one person come and say, and I was meaning to say this on the videos. I think there's one sign that I've missed out just saying, telling. I don't know what she was as a zodiac sign. If you are a, um, a Capricorn sweetheart, don't come on my messenger just calling me lazy and lame and all this stuff because I'm not, you're getting it free. Okay, you're getting a reading for free. Sorry, I don't know what the zodiac sign this girl is, so I just, if she's going to come on any of the videos, I'm going to have to start on each of these videos so she knows who she is. Somebody came on and they were writing all this stuff on my messenger and how I was lazy and blah, blah, and I just thought, fuck you. At the end of the day, this is my channel, you know, and I have a life and I am a very busy lady and you've got no right to be writing, not the right to be writing all that abusive stuff. So just be aware that this is a free freaking reading. It's free. You know, it's free. I take my time to do this stuff. Okay, mainly because I bloody well enjoy doing it. But at the end of the day, it doesn't give somebody the right to go and abuse you. So anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know that. We're going to do today, anyway, each of the signs gets a year ahead, not year ahead, month ahead, December reading. Okay, we're using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. Uh, new cards, woo -hoo, got today, beautiful, Blessed Bee card. This is the blessings. I'm going to be talking about the blessings that may be bestowed on some of you guys in the month of uh, in the month of December 2018. We might get a, an advice card as well from the Cole Gray Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards. Absolutely stunning, these cards are. Or we might go to the Archangel Power Tarot cards, you know, uh, Angel Answers. Or the healing with the angels it depends on what i think is necessary as a backup uh sort of advice for you guys but i'm probably going to do the blessings reading because i really like those cards a lot they're really just stunning got some other ones coming today as well they're really gorgeous oh my god i've got so many new decks uh, anybody can tell me would be great where i can get the uh next world tarot cards from i'm from the uk so i can't get them here they are out in February or something, but they're, they're a deck that I'm really sort seeking at the moment. Anyway, let's have a look for Capricorn for the month of December 2018. University, what's coming in for Capricorn for the month of December 2018? Oh, it's gone all blurry. Oh, oh are we going to stop going blurry, please? Uh, what's coming in for Capricorn for the month of December 2018? Show me Capricorn. What's coming in for Capricorn for the month of December Capricorn Summon and Rising Signs for the month of December 2018, show me. Alright, so we're going to split the deck caps into three. One, two, three. Uh, we'll collect that back up like so. And let's have a look. So, uh, one, two. And as you know, I don't always read love. I don't know, if the, know whether I've got time to put up a love reading. I, if I'm going to do love, I like to put it next door. I like to put up generals and love. So that each of the signs can find, you know, the two readings. I'll see how time goes for that because I really want to get these readings up early this week. Uh, well, and also, there's not a weekly reading, but go to my website and you'll be able to find your zodiac sign for the week uh, commencing the 3rd of December through to the 9th of December, okay? So if you want to find out what your week holds, because I don't want to put up too much, I don't want to oversaturate the channel at this time of year. So go to my website and check out your week ahead if you want to, if you fancy reading your particular sign, because it's not on the channel this week, okay? So one, two, three, and four, okay. Let's have a look. So let's have a look at who you guys are in the month of, um, in the month of December 2018. Okay, you are the moon reverse. I think that you're very clear. I think that some of you guys have sorted through a lot of your anxieties. The moon, when that card, when you're the moon, so look, is that right? Oh God, hang on a minute. Oh no, they're the wrong way bloody up. That's what's going on. I had a feeling that they would be the wrong way up. I didn't know why. Sorry about this, guys. They're all the wrong way up. Yeah, they are, definitely. Let me just turn these around. So annoying, I thought I'd put them, because I have to turn the cards around and make them face the camera so that you guys get to see what's going on, that's the thing. If I don't do that, then I'm looking at the cards, everything from my angle, and you get to see everything that's upside down, that's the problem. Hang on, is that right? Yeah, and there we go, okay. Interesting, right, that's it, okay, that's meant to be, the, that's the right way to put them up. So, um, you guys are showing as being, sorry, you are actually showing as being the moon. I think that you're showing as being deeply intuitive, but I think that you're afraid of your intuition. That's what I found with the moon. 
when you're the moon, you've got this really kind of, you've got this sixth sense. It's like this forebodingness. Not necessarily foreboding, but the, the, when you are showing as being the moon, you might have a secret, okay? You might be, because you, you're actually the moon, and the moon is shining a light, okay? So if you're the moon, you're shining a light on something here. So how can you be under any illusions, okay? Because you are the moon. This is who you are, okay? So you're highly intuitive in this month. You really are, Captain. You're really highly intuitive. Uh, I feel that you are... Uh, uh, you're very susceptible to your sixth sense, and I think that you're highly knowledgeable. I think there are a lot of stuff that is, I think a lot of stuff is very much known to you guys in the month of December 2018. Now that's feeding through to the energy around you guys being the Queen of Wands. Okay, so the energy around you guys being the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is all about um, uh, motivation, ambition, and it might be the energy around you guys. Um, could be a person, a queen of wands. Maybe you have a very a deep-seated knowledge of who this individual is. I want to see why she's being, why she shows as being the energy around you guys. The three of wands energy here. So the root issue is all about the three of wands. I feel that you guys are exploring a new territory here. The root issue is all about exploring a new territory here. And as a result of that, the energy... I don't think this is a person. I think this is you. Even though Capricorn, you're Earth, you can show us any card within the tarot. And I feel that you're ready now to put yourself in the limelight in the month of uh, December 2018 and going... I think in a way this is a New Year's resolution for a lot of you guys where you say, you know, I know what I know now. Some of you guys are deeply creative as well with this moon energy. So when you get the moon you're highly susceptible to being very creative, also to your dreams, you're very aware of what your dreams are telling you at night, you're highly, highly psychic with the moon energy showing there, you're feeling a, a great sense of spirituality and also very connected to source with that moon energy showing here, and you've got a great sense of intuition and knowledge, and I think that the root issue is all about a new direction that you're exploring here with this three of wands energy showing here because the three of wands is all about pursuing expanding your horizons connecting with others as well as the three of wands so if you're connecting if the root issue is that you're connecting with others it might be that what's around you is an individual a queen of wands in the recent past some of you guys will have let go you have entangled yourself from a situation that particularly wasn't very good for you, that enslaved you, that might have been taking your vibration a little bit down with that devil energy. The devil in the reverse is all about letting go of obsessions, unhealthy addictions, things that are bad for us, toxic relationships. Whatever is bad with the devil in reverse, you're going to be letting go of it. So some of you guys have decided to let go of it. But it will be as a result of this, perhaps this is a new relationship that you're exploring here. Uh, what's influencing you this month in December is the lovers. So this could be, yeah, it could be love. The lovers, which is why there's a queen of four. So I think that actually this is an individual, or it could be something that you love. But usually the lovers is a relationship, and it's very clear. It doesn't have to be, especially if you're a woman and you're heterosexual. This could be a man with the energy of a queen of wands, somebody who's got a very feminine side to her, uh, but also somebody who's quite strong and quite bold and quite sexual. Um... Uh, but I feel that the influence being the lovers, you know, when I try and other reasons, I don't want to always do it, it's always about love. The lovers is a strong union, a, start, a strong partnership, and I think what's influencing you is a strong partnership here, a strong connection with another individual, which is why the focus for the month might be on an individual here. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who is highly magnetic as an individual here. The most likely outcome from this situation there will be the Nine of Swords. There might be something you don't want to see or there might be some worry coming in here with this Nine of Swords energy. I'm just going to shuffle and see what that worry is about actually. Let's have a look at what that worry is about. What's this Nine of Swords about? What's this Nine of Swords about for Capricorn as the most likely outcome? Uh, I think that you're worried about having to put a lot of effort into this situation, a lot of work into this situation with the Eight of Coins energy showing here. Um... It's interesting, really. Let me see why you're worried about putting a lot of work and effort into this situation. Why, why is Capricorns? Let's have a look. That's just shoveled out there. Uh, I think it requires you to take a step back. It takes. It's almost like some of you guys are required to 
become apprentices or you're required to do a little bit of research or maybe a little bit of study concerning this situation because the page of swords is all about studying it's about doing something that you've not done before and i feel that you guys are a little bit worried because you're going to have to put a lot of work into this with the eight of coins energy and the work that you have to put in it might be requiring a little bit of study here with this page of swords it might be requiring that you're going to have to do a bit more a little bit of investigation concerning this situation it might be something that you can't just jump into like that it requires is a little bit more tenacity than that uh coming in what you're going to experience is the judgment in the reverse this came up for another sign judgment reverse is a poor a poor error poor an error of judgment so you might experience with the judgment in the reverse an error of judgment let's have a look at what that judgment reverse is about or well, this is secrets or things that aren't that you have not been revealed to you with judgment in the reverse what do you mean they're going to experience judgment reverse what do you mean that capricorns will experience judgment reverse Oh, that tried to come out. was at the back. Wow. And it, my eyes just flickered on that card. I was like, oh, the Ten of Swords. It's all about the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a lot of pressure. Okay. Uh, it's a, I, I think, and it's funny because when you do clarifying cards, you say, well, they experience, you have to make a decision. Well, what is that card about? Is it about my poor error of judgment with the judgment energy in the reverse? Or is it about something you don't know about? Is there something you don't know? Is there something that has not been revealed to you with judgment in the reverse? You know, because that's what judgment in the reverse is, poor error of judgment, or it's something that's not being revealed to you with the judgment card reverse. So you're experiencing this, but it's about the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a lot of mental pressure here. So maybe what you're experiencing is the inability to make a final decision on this situation. Maybe this is because the situation is you guys have got a lot of mental pressure going on. But it's interesting because we haven't put everything into place right now. I want to see what she's doing here. I think she's, it's important to look at what's this Queen of Wands about. You said the energy for the month will be the Queen of Wands for Capricorn. That's just fell out there. Okay, so Six of Cups reversed. I think that this is somebody from way back in the past. I think this is somebody that some of you guys are connecting with with that Three of Wands. I think this is a person around you from way, way back in the past that you guys are going to be reconnecting with Capricorns in the month of December 2018, okay? But I feel that uh, as a result of that coming in is judgment in the reverse. You make a very poor decision, I think, to reconnect with this person because I don't think that this person can be trusted with the Ten of Swords. I think this is saying that you make a very poor decision to reconnect with this individual because I think that this person is not to be trusted here. And I feel that here, where you're recon the energy for December is you reconnecting with somebody from way, way back in the past with that Six of Cups being reversed. I think as a result of that, it might be that you're worried. Well, what are you worried about? Why are you worried about putting effort into this person? Well, why are you worried about putting any effort into this person? I feel with the Page of Swords energy, it might either be what you find out about this individual, or you're worried about putting any energy into this. Maybe this person's not very nice page of swords is sometimes it's in the upright so it's not reversed it doesn't suggest the person's malicious even though i feel here that somewhere along the line this person isn't all they are cracked up to be okay i think that this is probably what you find out about this individual you don't want to put any work into this individual because of what you're discovering look he's discovering he's got the magnifying glass and what look at what look he's his mouth is a gas. He's like, oh my God, look what I've just found. So I think it's all about what you discover. You don't want to put any work just because of what you may discover about this individual. Okay, because I think that you're reconnecting. I think you're networking with this person here with the Three of Wands. And as a result of that, the focus will be on connecting with this individual. The focus will be on this person from the very way back in the past. But you guys will be worried with that Nine of Swords about putting hard work and effort into this individual because of probably what you've discovered about this person in the past. What is uh, what has uh, Capricorn discovered about this person in the past in one card? What have they discovered? The Hierophant. I think that what you've discovered is, is that this person is probably a little bit of a tyrant with that Hierophant energy. Because hierophants are tyrants. Hierophants are my way or the highway. They're very set in their beliefs. Very set in their beliefs. So when you get a hierophant, sometimes this can be the type of person who says, well, this is my belief and that's it. This might be a religious fanatic, for example. Sometimes reverse it's a religious fanatic, though. 
But this is, you've discovered the, the hierophant about this person. So you've discovered that this person is a hierophant. And hierophants are leaders of people, but also pe the hierophants have certain rules and regulations that they want other people to abide by. And there is no room for manoeuvre with a hierophant often, because it's their way or the highway. And you might have discovered that this person is that type of person. You might have also have discovered maybe that this person is married, for example. That might already be in a commitment if there's anything to do with, because it's the lover's energy showing here. Okay. Now, what's influencing you is the lovers, which is why the focus will be on this person from the past, way back in the past. Let's have a look at what shows with the lovers. Let's have a look at why the lovers is influencing you guys in the month of uh, December 2018. Let's have a look at why. I think this is someone you've been waiting for for a long, long time. It's been someone that you've not been able to let go of. The Nine of Wands means I'm standing at my post. It means that guarding, Nine of Wands is a, is a bodyguard. So some of you guys have really been guarding and protecting this relationship. It's something that you've been unable to relinquish and let go of. And yet in the recent past, you did let go of it. Let's have a look at what this Devil Reversed is about, Capricorn. What's the Devil Reversed about? Because in the recent past, you've let go of this individual. What's this Devil Reversed about in the recent past? Or you've disconnected a tie from them. The King of Swords. Okay. I think that's something, in, you know, I don't know. I think this is all about an attraction. I don't think this is the person. I think this is saying an attraction here with the Queen of Wands energy from the past. Because I think that this is the person here that we're looking at. I think that you decided to, I think in the recent past, you guys have experienced the devil in the reverse where you have relinquished an attachment to this King of Swords. So it might be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person that you're dealing with. Okay. Because what's influencing you guys is that this is a relationship. This is a union here that you've been holding out for too long. However, I do feel that you guys are, because of that energy, this is all about you guys attracting in somebody from the very from the past. This person here you let go of, you're attracting them in. They're around you. They're around you. Possibly the root issue is somewhere along the line, some of you guys have been networking with them. From afar, potentially. You're still networking and yet you're letting go of them at the same time. It's a really weird reading. But the more than likely outcome will be that you're going to be worried about putting some hard work into this person. Because you've discovered probably they're married. The hero of them. I'm getting the impression for some of you Capricorns that you're still connecting with an individual here. You're still connecting while saying, actually, I'm letting go of this individual. I'm releasing. I'm cutting the cord. The devil in the reverse is the twin flame card. So when it's reversed, you're cutting that cord. You're cutting the twin flame cord. And I'm getting the impression that some of you guys are cutting the twin flame cord with this person. And yet you're still connecting with them with the three of wands energy. I don't think you're waiting with the three of wands. I think you're still connecting with them on some level. However, if, if you do this, if you're attracting in this person from the past... The problem is coming in in December and going into January. It's a very poor error of judgment here because this person hasn't changed. This person is still portraying you. It's an error of judgment because this person is probably going to put knives in your back, ten of swords. So they haven't changed. The person's still married. You discovered that they were probably married here for some of you guys. And yet you're still connecting with them despite saying that you've cut the cord with this individual. Three of Wands is about networking, and I think that you're still networking, you're still exploring the territory with this individual, despite in the recent past saying, actually, I'm cutting the cord, devil reverse, with this King of Swords. I think this is the culprit here, because what's challenging you, and I'm going to say it's challenging you, stroke influencing you, is that you're holding on to this relation, you've still been holding out for it. But the problem is, as a result of that, you're still attracting in in some way, shape or form, because you're probably still networking in some way, shape or form with this individual, you're still attracting in things from the past. You're still attracting this person from the past right back in. But the problem is, is more than likely, the most likely outcome is you're going to be worried about putting any work in them, because you've discovered that this person is probably already committed with the hero of them. Here, poor error of judgment if you do go back with this individual Capricorn because this person's more than likely going to... And this is why you're highly knowledgeable here with the moon. You're highly knowledgeable. I want to see what you're highly knowledgeable on, actually, with that moon energy. Because you're showing as being the moon. You, 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 when you show as being the moon, often I see that as a card as being highly aware. Very self-aware with the moon energy. I don't think that you're in any state of illusion because you are the moon. So you're casting the light. 
yeah, you're highly aware that this, this is something that cannot bring emotional contentment. Ten of Cups in the reverse. Ten of Cups in the reverse talks about unhappiness, a lack of fulfillment. You're very aware that a situation is very unfulfilling with that Ten of Cups in the reverse. And it's feeding through to the situation being about you attracting in somebody from the past. Because I do think that you've been connecting with them for some of you Capricorns. Despite saying that you're cutting the cord with this individual, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, potentially. Your challenge is you're still holding on to this person from the past. You're still holding on to this lover. Which is why you're attracting in the energy of the individual from the past. But you know that if you do this, and you've still got, some of you guys still have a very much a physical link to this person. You must do. You've got the three of wands here. It's networking. So you might be talking to them. You might be connecting with them on, you know, Facebook or something like that. You know, texting them every now and again or responding to their texts. Coming in, influences coming in are going to be the fool. Okay? So with this fool, I feel that there is, um, it could be a new beginning, potentially with the fool. Fool's a new beginning, their new path. But sometimes the fool is also that we are guided by this. It might be something unexpected happens as well. Let's have a look at what shows with the fool. What do you mean by the fool? There's an influence coming in. Or it could literally be you guys being the fool. What do you mean by the fool? You said the fool is an influence coming in for Capricorn. Uh, the chariot flipped over. I feel really, I'm going to read this as a, there being a new opportunity for you to navigate this situation with the chariot. I feel coming in, influence is coming in, is there is a way for you to, if you look at the person, he's swerving. So I always get the, imp the impression that there's going to be an opportunity for you guys to swerve this opportunity with this individual. Because your hopes or fears will be the empress. Well, your fear will be, well, what if, I, what if I'm just completely in love with this person and I give everything to them? The empress energy. What if I want to nurture this person, nurture the relationship? Maybe your fears are, well, I'm a mother. Or I'm a father with children. How? What's the impact on them? The overall outcome will be the two of coins. The two of coins is all about the need to balance things. Two of coins energy. To weigh things up. Let's have a look at what this two of coins is about. And this is you guys, Capricorn, weighing things up with the two of coins. Let's have a look. What's this two of coins about in the outcome? I think that you'll weigh up whether you want to work as a team with this individual, whether you want to start trying to build something with them, with the two of coins. I think there's a question mark in the outcome here. I think there's a question mark because the three of coins in terms, and I think this is a love reading for some of you guys, because I think there's somebody around you still, Capricorn, that you're having something to do with, and yet you're saying, I've cut the cord, but it's not true. You're not being honest with yourself. And you know that you're going to get yourself into deep shit because you know that this person can't really be trusted. And there is an opportunity coming in for you to swerve this individual, swerve this situation. How are they going to swerve the situation with the chariot? Because this is all about you controlling it, you see. How are they going to do that in one card? How is Capricorn going to swerve this situation in one card? There you go. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Hold back. Don't contact them. Don't contact. So you're bringing this, like, this resonates with you, Capricorn. You're bringing it all on yourself. It's all on yourself because you're in charge. You don't have to do this. You are very aware with that moon energy that this situation brings you no fulfillment and no happiness. You are very aware that you can't build a life with this individual. Ten of cups in the reverse, you can't build anything with this individual. There's a lack of fulfillment. There's a lack of happiness. So you're very aware with those energies that you can't do this. And yet, the root issue is you still correspond with this individual. You still network. You still reach out to this individual. Despite saying, I've cut the cord with this King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius doesn't have to be individual or somebody with those traits. Because your challenge is you're still holding on. You're still guarding this love. You're still very protective of this love with this individual. This is a twin flame for a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys will say one thing, but you'll mean the other. You still haven't gotten over this individual. So therefore, the energy for the month is you're attracting in things that have been buried in the past concerning this individual. The problem is, if you attract this person back into your life, what's going to happen is there's going to be worry here as the most likely outcome. And the worry is about putting hard work and effort into this person because you're very aware on what you have discovered with this Page of Swords energy is that this person's already married or in a commitment. Or you're worried about putting work into this person because you know it's going to end up in an argument about them being in another marriage or in another relationship. 
Now coming from here, where you say, I've cut the cord. Yes, finally, uh, there's no more attachment. I've cut the cord with this King of Swords here. Despite the fact that for some of you guys, your challenges are still very bonded. You're still holding on. You're still waiting for this individual to come to you. As a result of that, what you'll find in the immediate future, Capricorn, is you're making a very, very poor error of judgment. You're not seeing things clearly with judgment in the reverse. Okay. Also, for some of you guys, that judgment in the reverse is where you're not seeing things clearly and you haven't healed because judgment in the reverse is non-healing. So coming in is a lack of healing because this is all about the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is depression. You're not healing. So coming in where you haven't let go and you're saying that you've cut the cord, but your challenge is you haven't truly let go of this individual. Well, what you experience in the immediate future for some of you guys as well is no healing here. Because you are still very much tied and hurt to the situation. Ten of Swords. Now, influences coming in around that are, it's saying, look, there's an opportunity here with the fool for you to swerve the situation, for you to take control. How do you take control? Don't contact them. Hold back out of one to reverse. Cut con contact. Cut communication. Because your fears are, I'm going to fall very much more in love with this individual. I'm going to want to nurture them. I'm going to want to care for them. Blah, 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 blah. The overall outcome is you need to weigh up two of coins, whether you can satisfactorily build a life with this individual. Because this individual is more than likely connected with another person. You have the power to control the situation here. This is why the devil's reversed. You're still in devil mode. You're telling yourself a load of bullshit. You're still in devil mode. You say that you've cut the cut, you've cut the ties with this individual, but really spiritually and emotionally you haven't, or else you still wouldn't be in contact in some way, shape, or form with the individual. What blessings are being bestowed on you? Well, actually, I don't think those are the right cards to choose. I wanted to choose them. I'm wondering. I'm going to get the angel answers, actually, and I'm going to see what the angels... No, should I? No, let's do these. Sorry. Let's do the uh, uh, angels and ancestors, okay? We're going to see what the universe has for you here. We're going to see what the advice is from the universe. This is a new deck as well. I really like this deck. What is the advice that you have for Capricorn on this situation in one card? What is the advice for the month of December 2018 that you have for Capricorn in one card on this situation? Okay, is that the right card? I think there's one before it. It's just telling you to feel loved and comforted. What do they need to feel loved and comforted by? Trust and thrive. I think that you need to feel loved and comforted that you can trust yourself and still thrive and move forward because some of you guys aren't doing that. You say that you've cut ties with this individual. You've cut your cord finally. You're no longer obsessing about them. You're no longer attached to them, devil reversed. You're okay, but not really because you're still in some way, shape or form connecting with them. You're still connecting with them in some way, shape or form for some of you Capricorns. So the universe is saying to you, Mother Earth, feel loved and comforted in the fact that you can trust yourself, truly trust yourself and thrive. Because you don't really trust what you're doing here. You know that you don't trust what you're doing. Or else you wouldn't be feeling like this in the immediate future. You wouldn't be feeling unclear and still feeling very bogged down by your thoughts. Because you feel ill here with the judgment you're in the reverse. You've not healed. Because this is about you still being very much pressured and bogged down by the whole thing. The way that you trust yourself and you feel loved and comforted in that you can trust yourself and thrive and move forward is if you take the opportunity to swerve the situation by just not contacting this person, not responding to any of their calls, not responding to any of their messages, nothing, just cutting off. Because in this area here, this is where the overall outcome comes from. In the immediate future, if you're unclear and if you're not healing because the situation is all about you still feeling depressed and bogged down by the whole thing, what will happen is, is the overall outcome is you're still going to be weighing up, building something with this person, but you're not weighing the thing up in the right mind. It's because you do feel lonely for some of you guys. It's because you do feel oppressed and depressed. You're using this person as a crutch to get you out of them, but they can't because they weren't honest with you before. Yeah, so this is a bit of a mess for some of you guys, a bit of a psychological mess, even though you know that this can't bring you happiness, you still go in there. The universe is saying trust and thrive, feel loved and comforted that you can trust yourself and thrive and move forward. Let's have a look at what blessings are being bestowed on you Capricorns, what blessings are being bestowed on Capricorn 
for the month of December 2018. What blessings are being bestowed on Capricorn for the month of December 2018? A blessing on your sleep. So if you've been tortured and worried about this situation, the universe is going to help you to relax. It really will help you to relax. Let me just get that blessing on your sleep. That's card number six. See how beautiful those cards are. It's a blessing on your sleep. They're just gorgeous. So the blessing on your sleep, number six. May you find the blessing of sleep, good sleep. May it come to you easily and when your head touches the pillow and your body stretches out in luxurious freedom, may you begin to drift immediately between the world of the waking and the world of the dreamer. May the slumber that comes be deep so that all the extrane extra extraneous sounds about you melt away and there is only you and the other world we can inhabit when we sleep and other life when we dream and explore the wonders of land that will only ever exist within these visions. So that's fine, there you are. That's an exploration of the lands that we can only envisage when we sleep. Let it be that, if anything. Well, in fact, don't let it be that because it will boil over into real life. Some of you guys are pretending that you have cut a cord and sometimes it takes a lot more than saying I've cut off from someone, especially when you've really got this twin flame thing going on. Uh, for, it says here, may these dreams bring you food for rich thoughts in the days to come, wisdom to explore insights into your own consciousness and being, and beauty beyond the waking imagination. May the body take its nourishment from the gorgeous rest. May the bones strengthen and knit. The mind lose its worries and anxieties. And may whatever has troubled you in the waking hours be released for at least a time as you enter entirely into this realm inhabited by the wonders of your own deeper self. Allow that you will have the blessing of being able to feel a lot more calm in December. But remember, a lot of this is down to you guys. It's telling you that it's in your power. Eight of Wands in the reverse. You don't contact them. If they contact you, don't respond. Eight of Wands reverse. You have the power. There's an opportunity for you to take control, the chariot of this situation by not responding or not sending messages, all right? If something isn't going to give you what you want, you know it, you know it, you're the moon, you know, you're very, very aware, you're self-aware that this thing cannot bring you happiness and fulfillment, so don't even go there with it, it's not worth it, it's not worth it, it really isn't, it's Christmas and it's coming up to a new year, make it your new year resolution to heal yourself, especially through sleep, find the time to meditate as well, just to take that time out for yourself, but this situation I think for some of you guys really simply isn't worth it. All right, my darlings, I love you loads, and I'll see you on your year ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.